Hello students. Today I am going to start the chapter our environment. So let us study what is environment. The surrounding of an organism is known as environment. Okay. There are two types of components in an environment. They are biotic components and abiotic components. Okay. Biotic components include living things like plants, animals, and microorganisms. And non abiotic components they include non living things like air water and sunlight students biotic components and abiotic components these two components are complementary to each other understood they depend upon each other for their survival okay and sun is the most important factor in this environment in this whole environment because the heat and light of the sun is necessary for existence of life on this earth surface so let me explain you here you see here is the sun okay and all of you know green plants have chlorophyll in their leaves and with the help of water and carbon dioxide these green plants synthesize their food by the process of photosynthesis okay and these green plants are eaten by herbivores and omnivores okay herbivores and omnivores understood again these herbivores also again eaten by the carnivores understood now when these all herbivores carnivores omnivores and plants die the dead parts of their bodies are decomposed by microorganisms means fungi bacteria etc and they the they mix with the soil now this uh, when this decomposes and mix with the soil by the microorganisms the raw material again mix with the soil and the plants again take them and grow understood now what happen students now you can see all the uh, uh, components both biotic and abiotic components are dependent upon each other understood so students now one thing i want to tell you we human beings are totally dependent on both the components for our survival but for over for years over what happened for in the name of development and industrialization human being do a lot of harm to this environment understood in the name of uh, development and industrialization what happened human being cut large number of trees for uh, uh, building factories okay houses buildings okay and also grasslands are destroyed for agriculture understood the, this is deforestation okay now the third one is uh, population due to increase in uh, population what happen population increase means we need more buildings to live more crops okay so we destroy grasslands and uh, cutting we cut trees understood so these activities of human beings destroy or harm the environment students due to population also we need more vehicles to fly over for our need so uh, these vehicles emit harmful gases and smoke which are uh, harmful for the uh, environment which are known as pollutants and which are harmful for the environment so students today i am discussing i have discussed about the environment two types of factors of environment okay and how these two factors are dependent upon each other got it and i have also discussed about some human activities like deforestation industrialization population which are harmful for our environment understood so students this is all about today's uh, topic and in the my next class i will uh, discuss about uh, greenhouse greenhouse effect global warming up to this okay